here we are, Deer Lake Creek Park. It's a Corps of Engineers park here. And uh, for the first time ever, we have our own ravine. So Linda and I can tumble down the hill and break our crown. Or not. But anyway, nice steep slope. However, this is a, a really nice Corps of Engineer again. They do a great job. Um, parking site. And uh, I'm, of course, 40 feet, as you know, from the rear bumper to the front of the truck. I didn't uh, unhitch this time. I just went ahead and leveled out because we're not going to go into Tuscaloosa. Uh, we're going to just walk around the uh, campground. There's a couple of hiking trails. If it'll cool off just a little bit or we're going to have to make ourselves go in the morning. But, uh, hey, very easy to get in here. Paved roads, your pullouts. There's several pull-throughs, some back ends. We'll uh, take a look and see what everything looks like. So this is probably a, at least, oh yeah, 50-footer. I'm 40, so you could extend just a little bit beyond that. Very nice. And there's a lake over there. Now, we are located just up there past that uh, silver car. One, two sites up. New guy pulling in down there. And uh, wanted to come down. There's a hiking trail right here. And for some reason, they've got these blocked off for COVID, I guess. But I see some bathrooms up here. I thought they were the other way. But I wanted to go up and check those out. So this is uh, pretty extensive. Everything's paved. So there are no dirt roads around here. But uh, nice pull-throughs. I mean, this guy's got a big rig in here. This guy has a lot of room with his little B+. Plus. So let's uh, see what the bathrooms look like. Alrighty guys, let's see what the uh, bathroom looks like here. The men's room. Uh, lights, cameras, action. Where's the lights? Light switch is on the timer on the other side of the wall. Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Got a fan going. Air dryer. Looks very clean. I was talking to a gentleman outside who uh, says he knows the people that keep it clean in here. He was right. They do a really good job. Boy, this is spanking clean. So they get a couple of showers back here. One's, uh, one's roll-in for ADA. Hey. That looks good. I may just come down here and take care of that. All right. We are uh, coming on down the incline. We're on up the up that way, and then it comes down this hill. But some of these sites are really creative. I mean, they've got wooden wooden gates, a rockwood mini light, <laughs> and uh, some of them are pretty elaborate, even with their like porches. So this goes on down around uh, to a few more sites down here. I just wanted to see what those look like. It's pretty cool. They have a fishing and fishing area and a hiking path over there. Like, check out this spot here. This is really awesome. You get your own deck area where you can do your cooking. Nice view. Gee, many crickets. This is nice. Yeah, this spot, uh, this is site 35. So you talk about a sweet spot here. And you've got a great view too. You're up here. It's Holt Lake. How cool is this, huh? Your own patio. Come out here and enjoy it. Really nice. Holy moly. Well, just on down uh, where I showed you that little a uh, sign up there showed fishing and uh, hiking. Spot 35 is just right up there. Uh, if you come on down, 
there is a little pier here where you can do some uh, fishing. Probably uh, dock your boat if you want. So this is really nice. Awesome view of the lake. Wow, I, it's like a marina down that way. Uh huh. Private property over there. Oh yeah, this is cool. I like this. And just check out these sights. This is on getting down towards the water. It's about as close as it gets. Um, that's a pull through number 37 there. Number 38, you got to step down, walk out, Nick. Goodness gracious. So if you come in with a real long rig, that's where you got to turn around, right down there. There's two sites down there, and you got to come back up the hill. So keep that in mind if you get a real long one. I'm down here uh, by the dump station as you leave and uh, there's another section of campground over there. They have dumpsters over there and then they have a basketball court and it looks like yeah uh, yeah basketball court. I thought if there was a net around it that's a, a fence to keep your ball in. And they do have a cornhole here. <laughs> Bags provided I bet they fall apart when you use them. Then right there um, goes on down to the lakeside and you can just follow it on around. And I'm just down behind the bathrooms right up there. Lots of leaves here and that leaf blower has been going off and on all morning. Well, let's uh, go on down and check Laurel Ridge. So this is going to be sites 12 through 22 like the sign says. So we'll see if there is good as the one over where we are, which is River Bluff Loop, 23 through 40. It finally cooled down a little bit. Now, Site 12 down there has a little bit of a, a back end, but seems fairly level where, down where he is. I noticed the front of the trailer isn't real low. Their picnic area is on down there at the bottom. And then... Uh, Site 13 here has a nice and a different type of place. I mean, these decks that they put up here are just amazing. I mean, I, there's another one up there at 14. So you have little areas where you can kind of get away from the camper a little bit. And of course, a big part of camping is getting out and not being stuck in the camper or in the trailer. So these are really cool. Here's the uh, view from the little uh, balcony here at Site 13. You can see some water, but uh, not quite as good as the other uh, other ones. Now here's the uh, the view from Site 14. This one's a little bit better as far as seeing the water, but boy, is this nice up here. Holy moly, this is a pull through. Looks like it's going downhill a little bit that way, but uh, not severe. Not, probably slight, I would call it. Right in there is where you want to park. So I'm down at the end of the uh, loop here, and there's not a bad sight. Not a bad sight anywhere there. Really great. There's uh, some parking places here on the end for your uh, car. So you can go down, there's another fishing uh, uh, pier down there, and you can hike on down. And then I know that it goes back on around over towards our uh, campground over in that area, in our loop. So this is, uh, this is really great. The kiddos get out and bike in this place. Now I'm down in the, another section called uh, Tall Pines, and these all are back ends. And we had a little rain this morning. It started at 5 o'clock. Big old clap of thunder woke me up, and it rained until at least 8 when we got up. So everything's a little bit wet. 
these aren't bad. This is a little more wooded in here than the area I think we're at. Well, I guess maybe about the same. But they're uh, fairly good size units, uh, campsites here. So not bad at all. And it's a smaller loop. There's not as many uh, trailers parked in here at all. But not bad. Now, site number five here is a, a pull-through kind of a loop. He's got a nice big uh, patio area out there. And then the uh, a little woodsy on the other side down a ravine. And uh, this one, number four, this has got a long back end. But, of course, the... Uh, this part, the, the asphalt doesn't really do you much good except to park an additional car. So it's a smaller trailer up there. Uh, so looks can be deceiving in a way if you're looking at, I'm not sure what they show for sight length for number four. But uh, the ones on the inside obviously don't really have a view. The ones on the outer edge of uh, this loop have a much better view or a little more privacy I guess. Uh, this one right here, number three, this is the shortest one I've seen. Uh, a smaller living area too. Um, that must be number two possibly. They've got a big old back end down there. Uh, that's a pretty good size unit. But it's rather uphill coming out. So if you want to, if you've got a small camper this is this would be a good one because you still have room to park here in front. So I just went through uh, tall pine loop here. There's uh, 11 sites there and then that's the exit to leave the uh, park. Then here's Settler's Camp so I thought I'd go through that primitive camp area. So there's only uh, 41, 3, 40, 6 of them there. 41, yeah. And then right over here is the basketball courts. Got a couple of kids playing over there. It's the weekend, it's Saturday, so it's going to be busier. Then that goes on down to the other campgrounds. So this is uh, the parking for campsite 41. It's primitive. And uh, then you take your trail and go on down there to your campsite area. Now I doubt if I'm going to find... Oh, no, there's someone up there. Um, but they have a nice big pad. It looks like it's a gravel surface, fairly level. So that would be... That would be pretty nice. We're getting some afternoon sun coming through. Uh, looks like they've taken care. It's the, you don't throw it on dirt, at least. It's not bad. That is pretty good uh, primitive camping. Oh yeah, here, um, Site 45. Nice. They got two tents set up down there. Nice little path and a big old outdoor tent. That was pretty cool. Well, let's wrap this up here at Deer Lake Creek park campground and I'm not sure if I showed you this or not but uh, we are just about um, yeah 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 right here number 27 right in here and uh, you can see it's pretty well pretty much surrounded by Holt Lake so we got here on Thursday afternoon and got all set up and we don't normally do anything when we travel on a day we'll just get set up and just kind of hunker down a little bit uh, maybe get out some and then Friday it did rain on us and uh, but I walked the whole park so you uh, have a pretty good idea of, of what it's like the uh, that site 35 is just awesome I, I think that's the best site in the whole park um, pardon I get kids in the background on bicycles with really squeaky brakes but uh, yes this is a really great place I, I can't get over how spacious the sites are and all the all the effort they put into these uh, to the woodwork around here the uh, little patios and things like that it's like being at home almost I mean, this is really great so it's a good place to chill if you like to fish and bicycles for like the kiddos there uh, it's a it's a great place to come. Um, you can't really go wrong for the price. I mean, if you're a senior, eleven dollars a day. Good heavens, it doesn't get much better than that. So we really enjoyed it here. Loved it. We're heading out to Nokalula Falls RV Park 
kept around around Gadsden, uh, searching for color. Yeah, hopefully we find some. Uh, it's not really changing much here. It is starting to, but uh, that's what we're looking for. We're on, on a color hunt. So you guys get out there, be safe, enjoy, and do check this one out. I think you'll like it. Nah, you'll love it.